Okay, here is the next uh, gas can banjo to be right here. I've got my neck, I've got my can, I've got some strings, um, I've got four tuning pegs here and uh, what I'll do is I'll just borrow a, a tuning peg off one of my other banjos to put on this one so I can go ahead and finish it up this morning. I've ordered some more tuning pegs off eBay but uh, you know I've got enough to finish the banjo pretty much I, I did take this can this morning it had some oil in it uh, I put some speedy dry inside there shook it all around washed it out real good with water and then took an air compressor and blew it out um, <clears throat> another thing I'm doing on this this one is kind of an experiment there's a small hole that I put right here I'm gonna try putting that uh, sound bar in there like someone told me to do on the cigar box banjo the other day which I'm thinking well the way I've got it placed there it should sit just about where the bridge one leg of the bridge would sit and uh, should strengthen that part right there also which can't hurt it none and it should be a good thing um, I will be building a, uh, a fist string um, shelf on the side of this neck and basically what I'll be doing is adding a piece of wood like I've done on this one uh, if you notice this was actually a, a four string banjo I built this fifth string shelf it's not terribly fancy but it works great I've played this banjo for years hauled it all over the place and it works great so uh, probably what I'm gonna do this morning I like this neck uh, it's a really nice old neck it's still got some finger prints in it I don't know if you can see that but I like to buy a neck and you can see where someone has worn the, the ebony board down from playing it a lot so that pleases me quite a bit Anyway, I'm going to add a fifth string shelf on the side of it uh, and attach it to the gas can. I'm going to have to knob off, knob off a little piece of that right there to make it fit. But uh, and, and I'm not going to move the handle, so it's going to fit just about like that. And I'll fix my fifth string shelf so it doesn't get in the way of the handle down here. And I'll probably notch off a little bit of this here so that I can leave the cap. Sometimes people like to have the cap be removable so they can kind of pull it off there and make jokes about letting the sound out and stuff like that. So anyway, that's what I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and work on is uh, building the fifth string shelf. And uh, we'll go from there. Okay, for my fifth string shelf, I'll be looking for a small piece of wood to place along the side of that neck. I have a tendency to save the smallest little pieces of wood because they very often come in really handy for this this sort of thing for example here's a nice little piece of oak uh, the fifth string shelf needs to come down to one two three four there's the the fifth string so if it came if it fit right there that would be just about perfect and in order to make it fit pretty much all I need to do is uh, notch it out it's hard to notch it out exactly right because the this this neck you know the the curve of it changes as it goes down so it does take a little bit of of uh, kind of careful work to get it to be just right but uh, can be done another thing I have done before is, is set a piece like this on here and then put a wedge up underneath it rather than notching it out so very much take a little wedge piece like uh, oh I was thinking I might have one here's one here here's a kind of a little wedged out piece that you can fit back in here make it work uh, this actually might that's kind of a good example of how a fifth string shelf should be cut except there's not enough left up here but you kind of get the, the idea of what I'm trying to do here so anyway I'll play with that we'll see what we can come up with Okay, I've rounded off the inside of this piece of oak so that it fits the curve of the banjo right there. Um, I'm going to make a mark down the inside here and saw this off flat. And then if that works out and it looks about right, then I'll reshape the outside of this around here so that this turns into a little nice, neat little banjo shell. We'll see how that works out.
Okay, here we are. This is uh, basically roughly cut uh, what I'm making here. You see it's kind of squared off right now. <coughs> what I'll do is I'll take the belt sander over there and I'll, I'll round this part here. Uh, and I'll probably, you know, smooth this down. I could literally bring this, you know, bring this down to almost flush with the banjo. I've done this. You know, but basically I'll kind of round that off so there won't be any sharp edges sticking out. Your hand will go up and down through here, but most of the playing happens up here anyway. I do make this fifth string shelf come all the way out to the end of the, this is one, two, three. So that's the fourth, um, that's, that's the fourth fret, one, two, three, four. And I want the uh, fifth string peg to go through the piece that I'm putting on here because this piece of oak is going to give extra strength to this neck so that the weight of that whole fifth string peg isn't riding on the neck. So this is actually the fifth, where the fifth string peg needs to be, the fifth string uh, whatever, uh, pin, whatever. So if I, put the, uh, if I put the peg here and the nut, that's what I was trying to think of right here, then we're in perfectly good shape and I can bring this up. Sometimes I take and smooth this part down a little bit so that the string can come up over the end, then I'll put a little fifth string nut right up in here. That should work beautifully. I'm gonna, I'm gonna round off this rough edge on the belt sander. If I'm happy with this, what I'll do is drill me a couple of holes in here, glue it, put a couple of pins in it. I like the finish on this neck, so I'm gonna try not to mess it up, but I probably will scar the finish off underneath here so that I can get some glue to, you know, work on these two pieces of wood. And then after I do that, I'll sit it all aside and let it dry. After it's dry, I'll come back and drill my hole, put my peg in here, put my uh, fifth string nut, in here once that's done uh, I guess I can put it on the put it on the can and we can work from there